Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Once upon a time, there was a kind-hearted queen who lived in a snow-white castle surrounded by an enchanted forest. While watching the flaky snow fall on a cold winter day, the queen was daydreaming. She could hear children playing in the snow outside. <laughs> she opened the window to see them, and the wind whisked away the queen's favorite red handkerchief. And the handkerchief fell right on top of the snowman the children were building. They waved and thanked the kind-hearted queen. I wish I had a daughter with skin as white as snow, cherry red lips, and a kind heart. The months passed, and the dream of the kind-hearted queen came true. When nine months later, her long-awaited wish came true, and the king and queen had a baby girl, the most beautiful in the world, and they named her Snow White. But their happiness did not last long. While Snow White was still a little girl, the queen passed away and became a star in the sky. A few years later, Snow White's father married a woman named Hela. The king was amazed by the beauty of the new queen, so he never realized that she was arrogant and proud. Mira, Mira on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You, my queen, are indeed the fairest in the land. <laughs> no one can be more beautiful than me. Snow White grew into a beautiful young lady. Her father, the king, went on a long journey with his soldiers, and gave his daughter a big hug before he left. Don't be sad, Snow White. I'll be back. One day, the vain, evil-hearted Queen Hela called her chamberlain Dunkov. Unveil my magic mirror, Dunkov. Chamberlain Dunkov was clumsy and pulled the cover down onto himself. You fool! Get out right now! The queen admired herself in the mirror and then said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? The magic mirror answered her, In this land, my queen, you are no longer fairest in the land. Snow White is the most beautiful. Hela became very angry. It can't be! No one can be more beautiful than me! The whole castle seemed to shake with her anger, and her evil heart wanted to destroy the beauty of Snow White. She made a plan and ordered the royal huntsman to take Snow White into the enchanted woods and kill her. And bring me back her heart! Snow White trusted the royal huntsman and went with him into the woods. Along the way, she saw a wounded bird on the ground. And Snow White picked up the bird to help heal its wing. Behind her, the royal huntsman sneaked up on her and took out his bow to shoot Snow White. He drew back the bow and took aim, but he could see that the girl had a kind heart as she held the wounded bird, and he decided it was wrong to kill Snow White. Snow White, she ordered me to take your life. I can't kill a person as good and kind as you. Who wants to take my life? It's Queen Hela. You must run away and hide. The huntsman chose to trick the queen and killed a wild boar instead so he could take the boar's heart to the queen and make Hela think that the princess was dead. The princess was terrified and ran through the dark woods. She struggled through sharp branches and bats in the night until she could run no further. 
she collapsed against a tree and fell asleep in the cold, dark, enchanted forest. When the huntsman reached the castle, he marched directly to the queen. I have fulfilled your command. Queen Hela took the box and examined the heart. She believed that Snow White was dead, and her evil laughter echoed through the castle. <laughs> when the sun finally rose, Snow White woke up in the heart of the forest, and there before her was the cutest little house with a small garden gate and picket fence, tiny windows with a doorbell and a round green door. She rang the bell, but no one answered. And when she reached for the door to knock, it opened. Inside, everything was so small that it felt like she was in a toy house. Tiny pots, tiny spoons, glasses. When she found a tiny bowl of soup, she was so hungry that she ate it. And then fell asleep on a tiny bed. Not far away, the owners of the house finished their work in the mines and went home. As soon as they entered, they knew something was wrong. So they walked quietly and whispered. Shh. Uh, someone has eaten my bread. Mm. Someone has used my plate. Someone is sleeping in my bed right now. Mm. Such a beautiful girl. Hey! 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 Goat! Oh, get the lamp! Ah, oh, catch! Oh! Hey! Wow! Oh, ah, get oh, the lamp! Whoa! Catch! Yikes! Phew! Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Shh! She's awakening. She's hiding under the blanket. Hmm. Don't be afraid of us, little girl. We are the Seven Dwarves. I am Ace, and these are jolly, angry, curious, silly, shy, and lazy. Well, I... I am Snow White. I'm sorry I wandered into your house. Snow White told them everything that had happened to her, and the dwarves were very sad to hear her tale. So they said she could stay with them in their little house. But only on one condition. We really love to sing. Is your voice beautiful, my princess? Snow White is my name. I'm far away from the castle today. I stare at the sky and speak to my mother She is now among the stars I have found happiness in this forest My little friends protect me here Their tiny hearts are now full of Far away, in another land, there was a young, handsome prince. His name was Antoine. He loved sitting outside at night and looking at the stars, which reminded him of the people he loved. One night, he saw the face of Snow White in the starry sky and felt he should seek her out. A fairy told him she was in danger and gave him a magical, 
heart necklace. So Prince Antoine got his trusty horse and rode away to find the beautiful face in the sky. Back in the castle, the evil-hearted Hella was again in front of her magic mirror. Dunkov, uncover the magic mirror. Let me see my beauty. Dunkov entered, but the cover got caught on the mirror, and he almost knocked it over. Dunkov is such a clumsy assistant. Always at the most critical times, he becomes awkward and clumsy. The queen was continually annoyed with him. When Dunkov had left, Queen Hella again asked the mirror to tell her how beautiful she was. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Sorry, my queen, but Snow White, who lives with the seven dwarves, is the fairest in the land. Ah, uh, no, no! I thought Snow White was dead! The queen stayed up all night, making evil plans to kill Snow White once and for all. She decided the best way to disguise herself, so she changed into a cute little bunny. In the morning, the dwarves went off to work. One by one, they kissed Snow White on the cheek and walked to the mine. And they warned her to be careful while in the house alone. Now, princess, don't open the door to strangers. It isn't safe. The forest seemed peaceful, and Snow White began to water the flowers in the garden. The princess noticed a little bunny sitting in the garden, who seemed hurt. She went over and picked it up and brought it inside the house. She bandaged the rabbit's hurt leg and let it rest in the sun on the dwarf's bed. The bunny seemed like it was sleeping, but as soon as the princess left the room, the rabbit opened its eyes and looked around. Then it jumped, 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 and turned back into the evil Queen Hella. This was exactly what she had planned. She poured purple poison into the pillow, thinking that the princess would sleep there and die from the poison. Snow White was so tired from working in the garden that she went inside to rest. She was just about to put her head down on the poisoned pillow. Snow White! <laughs> Snow White! When she heard the dwarves come home, the princess met them at the door, and after a delicious dinner, they danced all night long. Snow White fell asleep in front of the fireplace, and it's a good thing that she did, because then she wouldn't be sleeping on the poisonous pillow. When the queen returned to her castle, Dunkov was still asleep, guarding her door. Thinking her plan had succeeded, she went to the magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? My queen, Snow White, who lives with the seven dwarves, is more beautiful than you. Gah! No, 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 no. I should be the most beautiful in all the land. Me! I will make a plan that will kill Snow White. A few days later, while the dwarves worked in the mine, Snow White was sewing some of the dwarves' worn clothing. And then she heard a knock on the door. The door was knocked three times. Snow White looked through the door to see who it was. And it was an old, ugly woman with a basket of apples. Who are you? I'm a saleswoman. I have very delicious apples. Would you like to try one? Snow White was afraid to open the door at first, but she loved red apples. Here you go. Enjoy it, my beautiful child. A free sample. Snow White took the apple given by the old woman and took a bite. The apple had been poisoned. 
She fell to the ground before she could even cry out for help. (laughs) Just down the road, Prince Antoine rested his horse in the shade of a tree. He had traveled far to find the beautiful face he had seen in the sky. Just off the road, he saw an old woman walking along. He was about to go speak with her, when suddenly, she transformed into the evil Queen Hela. The prince and his horse were stunned, and he decided to not go ask her for directions. Later that night, when the dwarves came home, they saw Snow White still and lifeless on the floor. They were so sad, and their hearts were broken into a thousand pieces. They crafted a beautiful glass coffin and carried her to the country's longest river so that all the people of the kingdom would know of her beauty. Just downstream, the prince was traveling on his horse on the riverbank, and he noticed the glass coffin in the boat. He recognized the face of the girl immediately. The prince was very sad. But he opened the cover of the coffin. He took the stardust necklace from his pocket and put it on the princess. Goodbye, my princess. Shine like a star wherever you are. But just then, the prince saw Snow White moo. The stardust necklace was magical and rewarded him for his diligent search of the face he saw in the sky. Snow White revived. When she awoke, she was amazed to have such a handsome prince standing beside her, rescuing her. When they eventually got to shore and returned to Snow White's castle, she and Prince Antoine told the king everything. When the king learned what Queen Hela did to Snow White, he banished her from the kingdom. The king locked the magic mirror and all of the queen's possessions into the dungeon of the castle. Many months later, Snow White and the prince fell in love because this was not an arranged marriage and had a beautiful wedding in the castle. They invited the dwarves and celebrated and lived happily ever after. Ha 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 ha!